my hope has always been to be her boyfriend. Yeah, it's complicated to me. <laughs> you should probably come visit me. I should. Conversation deleted. Somebody will be lucky to get her. Just won't be me. This is a slow Friday night. <laughs> is it? There's no one here, bro. Fresh out of people? Mm. We got, one, we got one dude to your right, and then we got two couples behind us, and they're all above 60 years old. Sweet. I mean, you can talk to anybody you want to, I suppose. Well, you know what I mean. For your, for your target area? Yeah. Man, the bartender. What's up? She's not even here right now. I'm practicing. I've known Nick for about 20 years, and that's a huge advantage with trying to meet people because going out with somebody that you really trust, you know they're not going to steer you down the wrong path. Remember Rachel, the girl that um, we, Absolutely, I, I remember her. You, you do? Have to tell me. Yeah, yeah. The, the blind so, girl. Yeah. You know, I was with Nick in Orlando at a blind conference, and he's like, oh, there's this pretty girl over here at this table. Very good looking. Yeah, yeah, she is. Well, I don't know, but you told me she was. I lean over to her, and I was like, hey, how you doing? She says, just so you know, I'm visually impaired. I'm like, well, sweet, because so am I. I have a date with her on Sunday. What do you mean a date? We're going on a date. Her, her brother's going to bring me. I used to, like, be like, there's no way I'd ever date a blind chick. But now, I would know. assume your options are slim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I want something purple or blue, you know, but like galaxy. -ish. The galaxy is purple? It can be. <laughs> so I have a show coming up, and I'm shopping for a dress today at one of my favorite stores in Austin. So here's the door. The left. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I love this place. Hey, Johnny, good to see you again. Hey, Nathan. What are we getting ready for today? Another performance. It's galaxy themed, so like stars or moons. Let's go take a look at our formal rack over here. Okay, cool. Yay. Any particular colors? Maybe like dark purple, purple or blue. Or a blue. What about this guy? He's got a lot of sequins on it. What color is sequins? Like a swirl of indigo. Ooh. So it kind of looks like a galaxy or like a nebula. OK, cool. Will you hold it? Yeah, totally. Awesome. <laughs> James really just enjoys helping me out. He's very much a gentleman. This one's a nice, shiny blue taffeta. I like the, the details. Cool, the yeah, I like yeah. the straps. It's a little starburst detail for you. <laughs> but you want me to? Um, I, I can carry it. All right, cool. cool. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, OK. But sometimes his persistence can get a little bit annoying. This is like my favorite store. Maybe they have an old school pencil sharpener. If he asks to help me with something two or three times, it's really just because he wants to make sure, you know, it's the final answer. <laughs> I'm going to be merciless, by the way. I'm not really sure what shirt to wear for this date. It's kind of like a casual lunch date. Either you have a kind of a more country looking one. You also got the gray one, too. It's kind, kind of, of it's kind of a heathered this gray. One. Yeah, the best thing about going on a date with a blind girl is who cares if it's what you wear. <laughs> so Rachel is an awesome girl. And, I mean, it's been a while since I've seen her. I'm excited about it and, you know, a little apprehensive about the, the blind issues. Hey, Rachel, what's up? Running into somebody's knocking food off the table. You know, all this thing a sighted person doesn't think about. It's a nice dress you picked out today. Joni, how's that dress looking? I don't like it. See, it doesn't fit well. Either. It's a little more cha-cha than it is foxtrot. So. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God, I love it. I don't know. I really like it, too. And I would say it fits like a glove, except for my boobs are too big. Oh, no. Oh, it fits like a too small glove. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I'm on the wrong side of the curtain here. Um, I brought some backups if we need to. Oh. This one's not in the color spectrum, Ooh, but it's got black glitter stars all over it. And it's oh. a deep red. Oh, yeah, it's like wine. I like wine. Yeah, right? who doesn't? Uh. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it's a contender. Does red look good on me? Red does look good on I you. I think it looks great on yeah. you. Yeah. You're, you're feeling the stress now? I am, yeah. Red on. Here, give me a hug. Thank you for all your help. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. This will actually be my legit first like blind date, one on one as a blind person. Hopefully, it won't be a place that has sports playing because I'll be listening to that or to other conversations behind me. It's gonna be rough. What's up, Robert? Hey, Solomon. How you been? Hey. It's awesome. What's up, Rachel? What's up, Solo? Coming in for a hug. <laughs> All right. Coming in for the real thing. Oh, my dog's pulling it's me. Right. <laughs> Wants to I say hi. I want but I'm not allowed. I know. It's All right, guys. Special. Well. Appreciate it. Thanks. Be there, yeah, of course. <laughs> Here's the show up early. Cheers. Cheers. Can we make it? All right, got it. <laughs> it's 
is like the cool part about Austin, Texas, like old school yeah, yeah, yeah. dance halls. Like people probably get killed here, you know, oh on gosh. bad nights. Oh, maybe a long time ago, like yeah, in the, the days of the old yeah. west. Bing, bing. There's a beer in front of you. It was just kind of on the right. Oh. Yeah. Because right you right like, because right. you like ordered it for me. Thank hey, you. Isn't that cheers. cheers. What are we uh, drinking to? I don't know, like. Date night? Date night. Finally? Date night. Date, date night. It's yeah. a date. A short story. When I first went blind, you think how tough it would be. Right. It was hard in the beginning. I mean, yeah. you really can't drive anymore. Oh, it sucks. You can't freaking find a bathroom by yourself anymore. Blind people problems. Right, exactly. <laughs> you got to get comfortable with people real quick. It's oh, like, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. that. I'm like, where's the toilet? Um, I've heard people just stare at me, too. And right. Like, oh, do you need help? No, I'm just running into this wall. I, I really enjoy it. <laughs> for fun, yeah. exactly. It's still hard sometimes. Oh, of course, yeah. You know, I don't think that ever goes away, but you just, you kind of get better at it. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, kind of handling things. You're so much cooler than I am. What? You are. <laughs> Why? Degrees, you got dogs. I think I'm just nerdy. That's probably I remember you saying you is. play the guitar. I do. I mean, that's, uh, come on. <laughs> Rachel definitely has a blind thing down for sure. She is finding herself who she was before she lost her sight. I don't do anything cool. <laughs> yeah, I, gotta, I gotta do something. Oh. I gotta figure it out. Seeing her and hanging out with her, it just lights a fire under me to find myself again as well. Have you ever like thought about moving out of Fort Lauderdale? Right now, because like I grew up in Fort Lauderdale and mm. I've got my friends and my family and my church people and like I'm really happy with where I'm at. It makes it a little difficult with her living in Fort Lauderdale and me living in Ocala. Because you know, you move to a different town and you just know nothing. Right. You're just lost. She has no plans in moving and neither do I, but we'll definitely stay really close friends for sure. Good seeing you. Good seeing you too. Literally and figuratively. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more about how awesome this is and how you want to do it again. It's fun. You know, maybe you want to do it like seven days a week, 365 days a year. That would be a lot of money. I can take care of both of us. Huh. All right. But no, in, in all seriousness, is relationship an okay word? Would you? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I know, I know. James is definitely wanting to take this to the next level. We can date and start it sort of slow. Are other people invited? But I am not mature enough or considerate enough at this point to give him the time and attention that he needs or that he deserves. Like as far as like past boyfriends and stuff, complete honesty, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that did stick. We dated for like four years. Like as far as like marriage and long term and whatever, I kind of thought that would be him, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it didn't work out. Even with my family, oh my god, it was horrible. Like my mom and my dad and my brother and my sister and my brother-in-law, my nieces, like they all totally loved him. So yeah, like breakups really suck and they hurt and whatever. And so I am jaded and I don't know, it just, it kind of freaks me out. It does definitely freak me out. How you doing? I'm doing well, Mario. Good, good, good. I feel like a schoolboy. So go get our phone number. The looks are sexy. We want to show your touch. If I have the body to show it off, then why not? 